See ya. Podcast. My name is CJ Yan, your host, and this is episode 9, Judas, the predestined betrayer. Or was he? When we read the Bible, there are certain things that we do out of habit. It is read in a way that is more plot-orientated. But the intention of the Bible is character-based. The Bible's aim is to grow each individual character. And when we miss that, that's when the Bible becomes a little dull and a little distant because we cannot relate to the characters that are in the Bible. So for Judas, where does Judas come into all this? First of all, you got to get that picture out of the way. And by the way, Da Vinci Code, there is a reason why it's called a novel of fiction. Go look up fiction. It is a good read. Link below. Because that picture only happens on movie sets where the camera needs to take in all the members who are sitting and eating at the table. But even if we get past that, it was never like this because the people at that time probably didn't sit at tables. They were probably more like this. The seating arrangement is very significant. The way John tells it, we are able to know who was sitting beside Jesus to two most important seats in the room. One was occupied by John, and the other one was probably occupied by Judas. You gotta remember, John describes Judas as the person who was in charge of the purse but he used to take money out of the coffers for his own personal use. The reason why this is so significant is because at the most important dinner, the least favored disciple, Judas is sitting at one of the more honored places at the Last Supper. So now we look into what Jesus said to the disciples. It's very interesting because even before the dinner started, Judas had already made plans to sell Jesus out. Now Jesus already knew this. This is very significant. He already knew what Judas had in mind. So, my question is, why would Jesus say the things that he said while Judas was still there. Did J Jesus not want Judas to betray him? Because if he stopped Judas from betraying him, then God's word would not be fulfilled. So the answer is no. Jesus, although he might have been sad for Judas, he did not want him not to betray him. He wanted him to betray him. On a personal level, I believe Jesus did not want Judas to be the betrayer, but he knew that it needed to happen. So then, if that is the case, why would Jesus say the things that he said in front of the disciples, including Judas, before Judas left the room? He could have said all that after 
Judas left the room. If you look at the passage, even after Judas left the room, the disciples did not know what Jesus meant. So all the conversation that happened while Judas was still in the room was between Jesus and Judas. In other words, Jesus wanted Judas to hear what he had to say. The rest of the people had no idea. Of course, afterwards, after Judas had betrayed him, and after Jesus died on the cross and resurrected, and after the Holy Spirit, the Pentecost, the disciples would have looked back and realized, oh, that's what he meant. And that could be a reason. But again, if that was Jesus' aim or goal, he could have said it after Judas left. So then, why did he do it that way? Judas would have betrayed Jesus anyways. So he said all this for Judas to hear. Of course, he wanted the disciples to hear, but he specifically wanted Judas to hear before he went out to betray him. I know those I have chosen. He knows who he has chosen. It was planned. He knew what was going to happen and he chose his disciples according to the plan. This is to fulfill this passage of scripture. He who shared my bread has turned against me. It is already said in the scriptures that this would already happen. I'm telling you now before it happens so that when it does happen, you will believe that I am who I am. He's saying that inevitably this will happen. But when it does happen, that you guys will know. Yep. You guys would know that I am who I am. And afterwards, it says, very truly, I tell you, one of you is going to betray me. And right before Judas leaves, he says, what you are about to do, do it quickly. And Judas leaves. And he's saying all this to somebody that he, who has already decided to betray him. Now, because Jesus is not going to persuade Judas not to betray him. So what was all this about? For me, the answer lies in the event where Judas takes his own life. Now for me, looking at it, yes, Judas is the betrayer. But the question is, did Jesus want him to commit suicide? And the answer is no. To decide upon his betrayal then on the day that he is thinking this is almost it Jesus confronting him and saying I know it's going to happen and I know it is you and upon hearing that still going on with it and afterwards realizing what happened oh if he could have just remembered what Jesus was saying right beside him on that night telling him hey man it was preordained this all this is fulfilling the prophecy fulfilling the word fulfilling what God had preordained thousands of years ago yet he could not see the heart of Jesus <laughs> So every day is a choice and sometimes we make the wrong choice but having made that choice if we really look into the Bible and listen to what Jesus says listen to the Holy Spirit and I assure you that in every way God Jesus and the Holy Spirit is there trying to alleviate the burden we are carrying so in our walk of life let us continue to seek his relief his grace so every single day every single moment i hope that every step 
is a step closer to our maker. See you guys on the other side. Bye-bye.